In this video, again, we're using sine or cosine to calculate sling loading, but this is different. And this, uh, this problem, more than any of the other problems, is what you are likely to see on a CSP exam. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And we, we're going to use cosine and sine. Well, we'll start with cosine because it's the easiest method for this type of problem. And then we'll show you how to use sine, which, can also, which will also work. It just takes some additional steps. But let's go ahead and look at the problem. What is the maximum load for a two-leg sling having an operating, operating tension rating in each leg equal to 3,000 pounds and each leg making a 36-degree angle with the vertical? Right out of the gate, I don't like the way this question's worded. If I was actually wording this for the exam, I would word it differently. But I've worded it like this intentionally. It's a bad question the way it's worded but you will see items like this on the CSP exam. They try to make it overcomplicated to try to trip you up. I don't think they mean it as a, as a trick question, but they trick it up so it's, it's not really clear right out of the gate what you need to do and what you're working with. And I would word it differently. Uh, I don't see the need to trick it up. Uh, what we're testing with this problem is your understanding of the concept of sling loading and your ability to use sine or cosine to uh, calculate sling loading. But uh, that's another twist to this, and I don't mind this twist. Uh, in this problem, they're giving you the sling tension. That's when it says operating tension rating in each leg of the swing, uh, leg equal to 3,000 pounds, they're giving you the sling loading. We need to find what is the maximum load that we can put on this two-leg sling and not exceed the 3,000 pound maximum in each leg. So, first step, like all the problems, draw it out. This is the kind of problem you'll see without a diagram. And you gotta draw out the content of the problem for yourself so you get a better idea of what you're looking at. We have a load, we have a two leg sling, and the maximum sling tension, we can't exceed this, for each leg is 3,000. So we go ahead and label our hypotenuse with 3,000. Because here in a second, once we, we get into this problem, we're going to have a hypotenuse, hypotenuse we're going to have an, an adjacent and an opposite that we're working with. Uh, it says 36 degree angle with the vertical for each leg. So we have, that's, this is our vertical line that bisects the triangle. This is our 36 degree angle to the vertical. We have one here and one here. But we only have to work on one side of this. So let me go ahead and wipe out this side here. We only have to use one side. And, and in this one side, we have a 36 degree angle to the vertical. We have a 3000 value for the uh, hypotenuse. The best trig function to solve this as it is, is cosine. And that's what we're going to do. Everything the way it's configured, everything's here that we need to use cosine. We could also use sine, which we will on the next slide, just to show you how it could be done using sine. But cosine's the easiest, doesn't require as many steps. Uh, here is the solution using cosine. And, and this is really easier than the previous problems uh, that we've seen in some ways. Um, okay, we start with our formula for cosine. Cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse value is 3,000. So we go ahead and plug that in for H. Our angle is 36. So we go ahead and plug that in for cosine. Cosine 36 equals adjacent divided by 3,000. We need to solve for uh, the A in the formula, which is the adjacent side. Which if this is our reference angle, this is our adjacent side right here. This is our adjacent side, the dashed line. To solve 4a, we simply multiply both sides by 3,000. 3,000 cancels on the right side of the equal sign, and we're left with cosine 36 times 3,000 equals adjacent. And 2,427 is the value for the adjacent that we come up with. But let's go ahead and check our math here. Make sure I haven't made a mistake somewhere. 
And again, we, we can do this two ways. We can go ahead and do cos cosine 36, calculate that, round to two decimal places, then multiply that times 3,000. Or we can enter it all into the calculator as one term. That, I'll do that the first time. I'll enter cosine 36 times 3,000. Cosine 36, close your parentheses, times 2427. That is the value for the adjacent. But that only represents half of the load because we're only dealing with one side of the triangle. It only, we started with one leg. So the adjacent that we calculated only applies for the one side. We need to multiply A, which is our value for the adjacent, by the number of sling legs. And this will be our max load. So we have 2427, which is our value for A, multiplied by 2, which is the number of sling legs. And that is our max load that we can uh, put on this rigging and not exceed 3,000 uh, pounds of tension in each sling leg. And that's it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it though using a uh, sign. Again, all the information's here. We can use sign also, it just takes some additional steps. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're gonna come up with the same answer, 4854. Oh, and there's my, uh, uh, there's me chastising the BCSP, BSP, BSCP people for a poorly worded question. Again, it, also, this is not realistic. This is not how riggers work in the field, not even close to how riggers do it in the field. Uh, if you go into a rigging class as the teacher and you start showing the, the riggers this method, they're going to laugh at you. You're going to lose credibility, and it's going to be real hard for you to continue the class if you go in with, with uh, something like this. But again, you see questions like this on the CSP that aren't realistic, that are poorly worded. You know, Take this as a heads up in your preparation for the CSP exam. But now, let's look at the same problem using sign. Again, everything's the same, but when we're using sign, we need the angle to the horizontal. We need this angle right here. And we can determine this angle because we know there's 180 degrees in a triangle. We know this is 90 degrees. Uh, 90 plus 30 let me back up, 180 minus 90 minus 36 equals 54 degrees. And here, here's all that written out. Again, triangle contains a total of 180 degrees. The right angle of a right triangle is 90 degrees. So if the angle to the vertical is known, the angle of the horizontal can be determined. Uh, and you can use this formula here to do that. I just you know, talked you through it without showing you the formula or, or uh, uh, any of the math, but when we work through this, we come up with an angle to the horizontal of 54 degrees. This is the extra step that's added if you want to use sine to solve this type of problem. I, I would just use cosine and not worry about this step. It's not that difficult of a step, but you know why go there if you don't need to? Just use cosine. Again, just like the previous problem, the hypotenuse is, is the same. We plug that into our formula for sine. Sine equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. Uh, 3,000 for the hypotenuse. Sine 54. Now we need to solve for O. Multiply both sides by 3,000. Uh, sine 54 times 3,000 is what we end up with. Go ahead and do that. We'll just enter it all as one term. Sine 54, close the parentheses. And on this app, if you don't close the parentheses, it doesn't like it. So you gotta do that. Sine 54 times 3,000, enter 2427. Just like we had on the previous problem. Also like we had, like on the previous problem, that 2427 only represents half of the, of the rigging 
uh, operation. So we need to multiply O, the opposite value, uh, times the number of sling legs. When we do that, 2427 times 2 equals 4,854 pounds. That's the maximum load we can put on this, this um, multiple leg sling and not exceed the 3,000 pound limit that's imposed on the sling loading or the sling tension. All right, let me know if you have any questions. This is the last video we'll have where we use sine and cosine uh, to calculate sling loading. I, I went above and beyond sh making several different videos and showing you different types of possible questions you might see on the, on the certification exam because you will see, see them on the certification exam. In the next video, we're going to talk about the rigors method. The rigors method is the actual method that would be used for these types of problems. And I'm not, I don't need to go into as much detail uh, on the next videos. There's not going to be five more videos showing the rigors method. Maybe, maybe just one at most two more videos where I illustrate the rigors method for calculating sling loading. All right, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.